Thursday. We're less than a month away from the Rose Parade, and that parade this year on January 2nd. And CBS 2's Jessica O oh is live in Irwindale getting us the very first look at the Donate Life Float. Jessica, good morning. Good morning, Marcy and Chris. Uh, yeah, I'm just loving this assignment so far because this is probably the only time that I'm ever going to get invited to be on a Rose a parade float and it certainly is a beautiful one certainly is a work in progress though as well uh, so this is donate life's uh, float for the 2023 parade um, and here is the wonderful beautiful street dragon that's going to serve as the centerpiece uh, so the flowers will go on this in maybe like three to four days ahead of the parade but all of these are just going to be covered and in the white circles here will be the faces of the donors who have contributed uh, to the recipients this year and right now I want to introduce you to Tanya she is with donate life and a big part of this community. So thank you so much for being here this morning. This is a wonderful concept for a float. Absolutely. Every year our designer takes us to different cultures and this year we're in Asia and it's representing that gift of life through the beautiful dragon that brings life to others. Who's going to be on the float this year? Today, um, this year we actually have uh, 20 riders and walkers. They're uh, organized tissue recipients or living donors who have receive that gift of life. And you said hundreds of volunteers are here and they're going to be here just putting so much effort and energy into making this happen before the parade on January 2nd. Um, it's an exciting time, but all of this is going to look very different too. Absolutely. Every single part of this float is actually going to be covered in different organic materials, from flowers, of course, to seeds and to different crush elements, uh, bark, and uh, it's going to look so, so beautiful whenever it's ready. It really is, and we can't wait to see it. But again, this will be one of the beautiful floats in the 2023 parade, and we're looking forward to seeing when it's all done. Chris and Marcy? That is so cool, so fun. And also, we learned it's going to be on January 2nd this year because it's on a, January 1st is on a Sunday. 